The new crisis in Niger Delta has heightened the fear of an economic shutdown. This is in spite of the decision of a new militant group to call off its threats to declare a Niger Delta Republic. Many blame it on lack of respect for the amnesty program initiated by the late president Omar Musi Yorodua. But for Amatari Bipalide, the federal government under President Buhari has not shown enough commitment to the plights of the region. One. In the era of the federal government, I have not seen a sign of dialogue from the federal government. Why do I say I have not seen? When you say dialogue, Mr. President, former President Yaradua, used the means of dialogue. And it was evident that made these persons to surrender their hands before now. The federal government, I have not, I have not seen an atmosphere. Yeah, that motivates this uh, avengers or these persons out there to say yes let us go into this dialogue the atmosphere has not been created so first the federal government should create the atmosphere he also took a swipe at niger delta elders many of whom he accused of taking advantage of the struggle to amass wealth for themselves the issue of dialogue one should not be politicalized the issue of dialogue should be transparent and should get to the grassroots. If today elders are criticizing, the elders on their home may know why they are criticizing. Well, like I said earlier, every agitation today is just towards the total neglect of the region and the unemployment. And if these elders are criticizing, what move have they made towards developing the region? I believe most of the elders that are criticizing may be elders that want to get access to the presidency. Yes. And getting access to the presidency, eh, leaving the, uh, uh, the region undeveloped, will not solve the issue. The group advised the federal government to genuinely tackle the issue from the grassroots by engaging credible and respected individuals in the Niger Delta to end agitation in the region. Ajay Nelson, PTV News, Port Town.